All right, everybody, we are here up at uh, a construction yard. We're gonna be picking up a 613 paddle wheel scraper. Um, we're up here in the Freightliner. It is March 5th, one o'clock PM. Uh, we're up here in like Indio, California, north of the 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this paddle wheel loaded up and we're gonna show you. We got two, uh, two cameras and we'll uh, go from there. How you doing? Look at you with your new truck and toy. Oh yes. How are you? Good man. Good, good. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our paddle wheel here. need to use our key. scrapers we got the mole up and down we got the wheel that actually flicks dirt up into there and then we have the uh, I don't know what it's called but it's basically a wall that comes toward and dumps the dirt out so basically for loading purposes we just want to make sure we have the can up um, these are our gears and this is like I don't know I think it's hydrostatic but I may be wrong actually I don't think so because that's for like um, dozers but as you can see it's not like a steering wheel where I'm doing this if I go to the right a little bit it goes right if I let go it's straight and if I go to the left a little bit it goes left the harder you push it the faster it goes make sure it pulls all the way up to get up this little deal here Put it in low gear, and 
we should just start crawling right on up. I'm gonna get the trailer. I'm gonna call it the trailer, but I'm gonna get the trailer over a little bit.
Okay. Since we got all this extra chain, I'm just gonna try to use as much as I can. This is an articulating piece, so we're not going to want to tighten one side too tight until we get the other snug. Then we can let the binders eat. Since this is a pivoting machine, articulating, um, we're gonna grab the front and then we'll chain the back separately. Um, so, go like this. Twenty foot chain here. To go around this cross member here, like so. Take the other chain. Go do the same, like so. difference is you're gonna want to go in between that line there so you won't, on 613s it, every single one will be like that pretty much so at least everyone I've run across see how far that okay, it's not gonna be an issue tilt up and we'll run the axis back at the same time now there we go back 
back end's coming up. Now we can tilt down. Alright guys, I just set up this uh, camera inside the cab, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go.